an anti-obesity drug that homes in on and destroys blood vessels that support fat, reduced the weight of obese rhesus monkeys by 11% in one month. It also trimmed the waistlines by eradicating 27% of their abdominal fat. Obesity raises a person's risk for developing breast, ovarian, prostate, colon, and other cancers, and also hinders treatment for cancer patients. Scientists at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, who developed the drug, discuss results of the study published in Science Translational Medicine. So adipotide is actually a chimeric entity. It has two arms. One arm is a small piece of protein that localizes selectively to the vasculature of white fat. The other arm uh, is, is an entity that can induce cell death in a specific way. This latest study with adipotide was very interesting and rewarding. Uh, the data observed in terms of efficacy in obese rhesus monkeys uh, was highly encouraging. Uh, there was substantial weight loss, some reversal of a metabolic syndrome, uh, which, which gives great incentive to perhaps bring this compound or a similar version into the clinic. Finally, we did a very sophisticated imaging study using two modalities uh, to uh, make sure that we weren't getting any loss of tissues uh, that were being affected in an untoward way. So the effect was really specific to white fat. Well, the monkeys we tested were classified as either obese or morbidly obese, which meant that their BMI, their body mass index, exceeded 30. Similar to humans, when monkeys have a BMI that exceeds 30, they are at much higher risk for developing prediabetes, which is insulin resistance, or overt type 2 diabetes. We found after treating these monkeys daily for 28 days with adipotide that the scientific indices we used to evaluate insulin resistance improved by approximately 50%. This is a very significant um, improvement in insulin resistance in such a short period of time. And so these monkeys experienced a major metabolic benefit from the drug. So the next step for adipotide uh, is a first in clinical trial. So the idea that occurred to us is that many cancers have an interplay between the cancer and obesity. So we decided to do a first in man clinical trial in prostate cancer. And the question that we're going to try to answer is if adipotide is able to uh, make a weight loss and elicit an improvement in the metabolic syndrome, whether this would improve the cancer as well. And we're in negotiations with the FDA now because, of course, they uh, have the final say in the approval for any clinical trials in the U.S. But the hope is that if we see at least a fraction of what we saw in non-human primates in cancer patients, this would be a good advance.